Hey, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Polkadex. I do want to say that I'm not a financial advisor. You should do your own research before investing money into crypto. If you haven't seen the previous update, make sure to check that out before watching this one. It's going to be linked in the top right hand corner of the video. Now, you can see we've lost all the support levels that I've been giving you. In the past couple of videos, we lost this crucial support level at $16.5. We went all the way down to the 0 0.5, lost that, went all the way down to 0 0.382, lost that as well, and now we hit our head on the 0 0.382, so this is a major resistance level at this point, and we can potentially look for a bounce at $8.50, because that's where the 0 0.236 is, and you can see that once we broke out from that area, we never really had a back test of support from the 0 0.236, so this is potentially where we can have that back test of support, something to keep in mind, but you can see that this is a great buying opportunity in my opinion, if I had you know, $50,000, I'd probably put in 10 grand from that into Polkadex, you know, that's how bullish I am on this project, but you can never, or you should never put in a lot of money, or a lot of, uh, you know, percentage of your portfolio, or a big chunk of money, basically, into a low-cap gem, and Polkadex is still a low-cap gem, so you have to be careful always with those, and you have to put in a certain percentage of your portfolio into that, just for, you know, safety reasons. We are very overextended from the 20 MA on the daily chart and we potentially can come back down and or come back up actually and hit it, our head on it and get rejected further down because that's what happens in a downtrend. You keep coming up and you keep getting rejected from the 20 EMA or the 55 EMA. So yeah, the $14.56 is going to be your next resistance level that you should break before flipping bullish and you can see that we we got rejected from there right here and we potentially can just hit our head and come back down to the 0 0.382 at this point and keep in mind this white trend line as you can see over here is something that you should have in mind as well and draw this out on your chart because we've been rejected from that area multiple times over here as you can see so there is a high percentage of chance that we're going to hit our head on this level and come back down further. So if you see yourself come up to this, uh, you know, white trend line and you're not holding Polkadex for the long term, you may potentially look for a nice sell order. So let's say if you got in right now, that would be a round about 50 percent trade, right? Around about 15, 16 dollars. We're sitting currently at $11. So yeah, nice entry points at $8.5. Look for those. And as well, we do have our resistance at $16.60 because that's a level that we've been holding pretty much for forever. You can see that we've been bouncing off of it for a very long time, but we lost that level, unfortunately, and now it's flipped into resistance. Now, if we jump into the daily RSI, we got all the way down to the oversold. This was the best time to start picking up the the PDEX tokens on KuCoin or wherever you're picking them up. If you don't have a KuCoin account and you're looking to buy some Polkadex tokens, there is a referral, a referral link down below in the description, which is going to have a nice trading discount for you. I think 10% off of all your trades and obviously that does help out the channel quite a bit so you can see that we were in the oversold we had a nice move towards the out the upside and now we're coming back down it's still very very you know it's pretty much very oversold at this point and it, you know you should be getting into your projects when they're oversold over here you shouldn't be looking at your projects and seeing them you know doing something like this and thinking hmm should i enter or should i just wait here you should just wait for a pullback and here you just have to be you know dollar cost averaging into your projects if i take a trend line over here you can see that we're getting rejected from this horizontal resistance uh this this white trend line that you can see so you have to keep an keep an eye on that and also if i just extend this resistance line you should keep an eye on that level as well that's going to be somewhere around 47 on the index on the rsi and, you know, don't forget about the pink trend line over here. We've been rejected from that area multiple times. Or, you know, we've held it as support multiple times. So we should keep an eye on that area as well. All of these areas are areas where you can get rejected from, as well as this yellow rectangle zone. So 
draw this out on your chart this is the daily chart daily rsi very important stuff here so once you're going to start breaking from this uh white trend line i do think we're going to end up all the way up here in the yellow rectangle and get rejected either from there or get rejected from the pink trend line so you can look for some nice selling opportunities in this area over here now let's jump into kucoin for uh, a bit more of ta now jumping into the daily chart i do have a new support level for you guys over here so you can see we've had this consolidation period over here and we had this you know nice bull pennant over here if you don't see what i'm talking about is basically this over here let me uh, change that to white we had this nice bull pennant over here we broke out of it to the upside but this was our consolidation phase and this set up a little base for us to land in a pullback like this and this is exactly where we landed so right now we're still in the buying zone in my opinion we lost all the previous buy zones that i gave you uh, this 14 to 12 dollar buying zone we're gonna remove all of that we don't need that at this at this point in time and we're going to remove the Fibonacci retracement. We're not going to need that either. So you can see that we were in this falling wedge. And right now we've pretty much, you know, dropped back, dropped out of it. And we're, we're in the oversold on the stochastic, I think. Yeah, we're still in the oversold on stochastic, on the stochastic RSI. So still great entry points on this indicator. And the MACD is getting overextended to the downside. So I do expect a potential, you know, bounce off of the 20 MA, like I said. So that's a nice little trade from here of around about 35%. So, you know, a nice trade in my opinion. And yeah, like I said, it's it's great to start entering uh, these projects when they're pretty much oversold. And the important thing for us right now is we don't want to be losing this low. We don't want to go anywhere below five dollars 28 cents because if we do that you're making a you're printing a lower low and you're essentially in a downtrend on the macro aspect and we don't want that obviously so either we print a double bottom pattern or if we start losing it that's when i'm gonna start getting worried but right now i'm not worried whatsoever so yeah uh we printed a bearish cross on the daily chart you can see over here uh, the 20 EMA went below the 55 EMA so that's your confirmation of the downtrend and yeah like I said if you're bullish on a project and you see it down 30 40 percent you know check if there if there are any bearish news but if not you know it's a great buying opportunity so yeah that's pretty much it for Polkadex guys if I missed out anything on the charts please let me know down below in the comment section I do read all the comments and I just sometimes struggle to get through all of them at once, but I will respond to all the comments. Sometimes they get deleted. So double check if your comment got deleted, either, uh, you know, reach out to me on Telegram or on Twitter or just re-upload the comment uh, for the second time because YouTube is is a bit, you know, weird with the, with, with the deleting comment thing. It, it's just annoying. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to follow me on Twitter. We do have a Telegram chat and a Discord server where you can connect with all the community members. You know, uh, if you have any problems, any questions, make sure to ask us in the Telegram chat. People are willing to help you uh, and they do respond pretty quickly in there. So yeah, that's a great platform for you to be especially if you're a newcomer and we do have a discord server where you can request technical analysis and get the latest crypto news as well and we do have a patreon where you can uh, have a monthly subscription tier with different benefits with you know private ta lessons personal technical analysis requests my buys my sells low cap gem calls and i'm gonna have another low cap gem call actually uh tonight as well so yeah we do five six low cap gym calls per month so yeah thank you for watching i'm gonna catch you in the next one goodbye and good night